Ever since arriving on the Archipelago Islands, everyone has wanted to carve out their own little corner of Temtem and call it their own. Hello Tamers, it's Livid here, one half of the team behind Legacy Gaming, and in today's Temtem Survival Guide, we're securing our first house and taking you along for the ride on the quest to owning a home in Temtem. I'm not going to lie to you all. This quest is the epitome of fetch quest and will take you a decent amount of time, even if you're fully prepared for it. And if you aren't, well, that's what we're here for. Right out of the gate, I'm going to just tell you the quest items you will need to get this done smoothly, so you can prepare ahead of time. Two of the requirements are specific Temtem that you will need to be handing over, a Cernif and a Volar. Now you won't get these back, so make sure they aren't your perfectly trained Temtem. You will also need a cool 30,000 Pansun. Shockingly, I thought this was going to cost a lot more than that, so I'm very excited to see this accessible to most players right out of the gate. Now that we got the prep out of the way, let's get down to obtaining the quest you need to complete in order to obtain your first home. Head to Omninesia and make your way to the cable car past Nanga and Mokopuni. Select Citerior Omninesia and head southeast to the Coral Plaza. There is an individual named Kari standing at a desk, but that isn't who you are looking for. Just above Kari, Salamasina is the individual you will need to speak to. She looks after all the new developments and will be the bane of your existence as you receive numerous fetch quests from her. Your first task is to head back to Nanga to the Myrang engineering offices and have an engineer check the plot to certify that your plot of land you are purchasing is safe. Once in the offices, you will be looking for Oleana, a woman with a red shirt sitting at a desk in the middle of the left side. Asking her about having a plot inspected will yield the answer of, well, we're too busy with other work, essentially. But she will mention that Calais went on holiday right before the eruption. And you guessed it, time to find Calais. Her only clue was that he was heading to Denny's and suggested we check out the hotels there. Head back to Denny's and immediately go to the Aerosola Palace, a hotel due north as soon as you leave the airship terminal. Speak with the hotel receptionist and ask to inspect his room, since he has apparently been missing. Carlos can't take the case, so of course it's up to you. With this hotel key, head upstairs and to the door on the left at the very end of the corridor. Once inside, just inspect the area by the window that's between the TV and the desk. A clue on a coaster will tell you to head to Sirocco's Bar, the building in the far southeast of Turquesa. Here is where you will need the first Temtem on the list, Cerny. Head inside and talk to Ectli, the man clearly out of place in the floral shirt and green hair. He will ask for a Cernif as payment for the information on the whereabouts on Calais. Pony up the Cernif and he will tell you to meet him at Malachite, his furniture shop that is secluded up in the Thalassian Cliffs in order to talk about this matter more privately. Once you arrive, you will be greeted by your favorite group of thugs, the Belsotos. Apparently, they're after Calais as well and have taken over the shop, actively being an imposter. Time to tempt him up. Now, these fights aren't difficult, but if you want a suggestion, a mental temtem like Pocus and a Saipat will absolutely destroy all temtem you'll come across in these battles from here on out. Once you beat the Belsotos, the real Ectli will come forward from being held hostage and tell you that when he was kidnapped, Calais slipped away into the water from the bar and towards the west. Back to the area around Turquesa we go, this time to the wonderful little house where we met Asterion and his family. Talk to the man on the beach next to the Saipat farming location and he will quiz you to make sure your intentions are genuine. The answers are as follows. Calais and engineer from Myring. Yes, and should be an and, but that's the answer that you have to give. He was meeting a friend. His friend's name was Ectli. He was staying at the Arisola Palace. And the dojo master's hobby is surfing. Giving Minos all the correct answers will yield information about Calais being dressed in a white lab coat and trousers with intentions to head over to the Academia in Brichel de Mar. Once inside, head upstairs and talk to Dolcia, who won't be very forthcoming about information. However, 
Kalei will actually be standing right there posing as a teacher. Get through his whole charade and tell him you'll escort him to the airship terminal to get away from the Belsodos that are chasing him. After arriving at the terminal and escorting him towards the ship, you'll have to unfortunately fight another set of thugs. Once again, the Temtem I mentioned earlier will easily dispatch every single one of them. This leg of the quest is now complete, so head back to Omninesia to speak with Salamacina. All that is left is payment in order to own your own plot of land. A cool 4 million pansa. Yeah, I'm sure your expression on your face matched mine at first as well. Thankfully, due to going to the lengths you did to find Kalei, you'll get it at a fantastic discount of only 30,000 pansa. Actually affordable if you ask me, so congrats. You now own a property deed. Yeah, deed. Not a house. You didn't think we'd be done this easily, now did you? Now you need to build something on it. And for that, you'll of course need to find the architect too. This is the part where we'll need that second Temtem I mentioned, Volor. Toss one in your party and head on over to the Windward Fort. Once inside, simply head up to the first set of stairs you see, and thank goodness she is right there. Krema could have totally put her in some random place deep within the fort, but thankfully they didn't. Seriously, thank you, Krema. Hand over the Volor and leave. She needs her space to visualize the house of your dreams. Head back to Salamacina, and by the time you do, she will have sent over the plans for your house. Now I wish we could get architectural plans turned over that quickly in the real world, but here we are. Now, you didn't think you were done again, did you? No. Now you need to go find the materials for your house. That shipment is waiting to be ordered from the Smiths Guild over in Tukma. So, off you go. When you speak with the Smiths Guild rep, to your surprise, an order was conveniently put in before the incident, so it's already in production. Some of it is already delivered to the terminal in Tukma. All you have to do is speak to Captain Makamba of the airship Orca. To the terminal we go. Once you reach the terminal, speak to Manfredo to find out Makamba was taking time off back home in Vumbi. Yep, you know where we are going next. Vumbi Dojo time. Head into the dojo and talk to Musa's ADC right inside there. Ask him about Makamba and he will tell you that he should be over in Upinzani, way over on the left side of the map. You know the drill, here we go again. Once you locate Makamba, inform him that the Orca is flying to Omninesia and you too can meet there at the airship terminal in Nanga. Once you are back in Nanga, Talk to him just out front of the airship. He will need directions to, as to where to deliver the goods. The answers are as follows. Atoll Row in Cyteria Omninesia. The The Canopath. Watch out for the Anic Volcano. Yareni. Schwinn. And Salamacina. And that's it. Finally, you're done. Go talk to Salamacina and she will give you the key to your house in Atoll Row. Now when you head to the portal, you can choose to fast travel directly to your home or purely visit Atoll Row and wander around looking at the various player-owned houses. It's pretty cool actually, so I encourage you to take some time just to look around. If any of you want to stop by, feel free to drop in at the following house. It's only like a 10 second walk directly south from where you load in at. So get ready to save up those pansons as we get to our next huge pansun sink in the form of cosmetics for houses. Some are expensive, some are middle of the road, and some are actually pretty cheap. So this could actually be a fun way to spend your pansun over the course of development. If you want to stay completely up to date with all major updates in Temtem, don't forget to like and subscribe to Legacy Gaming and join our community of over 6,000 players over on the Legacy Gaming Discord. And if you like our content and want to help support the channel just a little bit more, check out our Patreon, where we have a special print up for grabs each month to our supporters. My name is Livid, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching, and play on. <laughs>